What's up, guys? Dustin Yu here, back with the NHL 13 GM mode with the uh, Vancouver Canucks. We are currently 41, 19, and 7. We have 89 points. We're in first place in the West. Um, you know, we're doing pretty decent. We're at the trade deadline. And uh, like I said, if we get offers for Burroughs or Oland for first rounds, I think I'm going to take them. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. Burroughs is not having a good season, and he's like second line, so... I think, yeah, he's having a terrible year. He didn't have a great year last year either, so. Yeah, so I think he's going to get, like, he's going to get worse, I believe, just because of his point production. And, uh, yeah, so I don't, and then the other one is Oland. Um, I might trade Oland if we get a good deal. Uh, because next year, Pollock's going to be ready to go anyways, so. Again, these are deals that I could make before the draft. Um just because if we want to kind of have a run, but then their trade value might go down, so it's hard to say. Uh, so Florida acquired Derek Morris and Ryan Holwig from Phoenix for a first round from Florida. Okay, Florida's first isn't even worth anything, so that's kind of a silly trade by them. Although I don't think Phoenix has a first. I'm pretty sure they traded it to us. I think. I could be wrong. I could be mistaken. I feel like they did, though. Uh, yeah, because I think I traded Kessler to Phoenix, didn't I? I can't think. I don't know if I did or not. Uh, I definitely traded Kessler, though. But was it to Phoenix? I don't recall. Uh, Washington answer. Let's see what they want. John Madden for a Washington 2015 third round. I feel like that's a good deal. That's probably the best deal we're going to get for that. Um, John Madden's 40. He's probably going to retire. Washington probably needs him. So I'm actually, I'm going to take that. Whatever. A third round pick for a 40-year-old? Might as well. Um, oh, yeah, that's going to screw up our HL team here. Yeah, I'm trying to... What? Oh, this... Oh, I can't even change to the... I can't change to the all... Oh, my God. How am I supposed to change? Why did they do that? Oh my god. I can't... Okay, whatever. I can't change to Chicago. Now I can. Thanks. Thanks for that. That's great. Uh, yeah, so that and... Yeah, now all our lines are screwed up again. Thanks. Thanks, you jerk. Okay, there we go. Palaces. How's Schroeder doing? I was hoping Schroeder would get better. But I don't know if you will or not. Hmm. Yeah, like, even if he could get, like, fourth line status, I think that would be, like, awesome. Uh, who else do we have here? Suave, Kusa. Yeah, not a whole lot, but that's okay. Okay, so we got uh, a third round for John Madden, which is pretty decent. I'll take that. I feel like they sped up the trade deadline a little bit somehow. It used to be really slow, unless it's going slow right now, I don't know. Oh, well, maybe it is. It has to, like, think about it. NHL 12's trade deadline was awesome, it was so fast. It'd be like, boom, trade offers, but obviously they didn't have the, the great GM brain that sends all-stars down into the minors for waivers to get claimed. But, but uh, okay, no offers, two hours remaining. Chicago acquired Belanger, Olmark, a 2014 third round pick for Andrew Shaw. Uh, I wouldn't take that. That's a bad trade. That is not a good trade. Yikes. Linus Olmark is pretty decent to you. Maybe he's not that good in the game. I don't know. Not quite sure. But yeah, I wouldn't have made that trade. That's not a very good trade, honestly. Do, 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 do. I don't think there's no nothing there. Colorado acquired a 2015 first for Brandon Maxwell. Oh, okay. Sure. Sure thing. Okay, does anyone want Burroughs or Oland? Anybody at all? Does anybody want them? Because I don't want them. I no longer want them. 
And like worst case, I mean McKinnon and uh, Gaunt are both centers, so they could both play on the second line there. Boston is calling. What do they want? Aronin and Rover for two seconds. Boston 15. Hmm. Shane Rover and Timu Aronin. Okay, who's this guy? 65, three and a half stars. And Rover is 59, two and a half stars. I wonder if I could trade that into a first round pick. What are they, what is their, oh, they don't even have a first round pick. Holy crap. 2015 first round. I wonder if they'd do that. Hmm. Let's see if we can get next year's first round instead. Take these off. Let's see if they'll take that. Nice. All right. So we got a first round for next year. Not this coming draft, but the next year after, which is totally fine. Zero hours remaining. Well, we got we walked out of there with a uh, a third round and a first round for next year, or a third round for this year and a first round for next year draft, which is pretty good. And we didn't really have to lose much. John Madden's forty; he's going to retire, and then Timo Ronin. I mean, he's three and a half stars, which is why I wanted the first, but he's not going to make our lineup. He's only sixty-five, so yeah, he's not going to cut the lineup at all. Uh, Ryan Holwig. Look at that. Holy, look at that mustache. Where have you been all my life? Oh my god, look at that stat. It's kind of uneven though. It looks like it's falling off his face. Is that a fake mustache? I wonder if that's fake. Look how angled it is. Yeah, that looks a little angled to me. Okay, anyways, we're not going to pick him up. Uh, nice, fifth phone. Perfect. So, I think... Where did we put Schneider in? Uh, we're 41, 19, and 7. I'm trying to think. How does that work out? Because Schneider needs 5 losses. We're at tw So we're at 25 losses in total. Uh, Lack gets 2. Actually, I think I'm going to just stick with uh, Schneider to start. We'll just start fresh with Schneider down the stretch here. That's fine. Is that 1... Two, three, we'll go here. All right, so we'll just keep going from here. We'll try and get to the end of the season. It might be a bit of a longer video, but we should be able to get to the end of the season, I think. Hopefully. All right, not a good start, Schneider. I don't know what your problem is. Lack was playing better than you. Come on, bro. All right, so we're at 68 games. So we have... 14 games left, I think. That makes sense, yeah. 14 games. And we need 6 wins to get to our goal of 47 wins. I feel like we can get there. Alright. 6 wins. Come on, guys. Anaheim Ducks, we gotta beat them. So Schneider has one loss so far. Anaheim Ducks, we gotta beat them. Come on, guys. Big win. There we go. I'll take it. one nothing. I'll take it. All right, all right. Dallas Stars. We got to beat these guys. Come on. Big win, big win. They're right behind us. There we go. Perfect. All right, good bounce back for Schneider. Two big games for us. All right, LA. LA Kings. Come on, guys. All right. Big game, big game, big game. Nice. Another big game. All right, keep it up, keep it up. Huberto up top with goals again. I think he's going to shoot to at least an 88. If he gets into the 90s, I will be so pumped, but it's hard to tell. Nice, another win. So we only have one loss with Schneider so far. We need two more wins to make our goal for the year. I mean, I'd like to set, maybe we can set our own goal of like saying, like I'd like to hit 50 wins at least this year. Um, I feel like we can, but nice, there's another big win. Um, but yeah, if we get for sure the goal, like, 
for our, our owner sets a pretty good goal for us. But I'd like to almost say, you know, we we can easily do this. Like I think we can get 50 wins. All right, there's a loss. So two losses for Schneider. All right, all right, all right. All right, Chicago. We lost to them last game, so hopefully we can bounce back. We should be able to beat them. Come on, guys. Oh, uh, was that over? I think that was overtime. I'll take that. It's still a point. All right, Phoenix. We got to beat Phoenix. Please. Have to beat Phoenix. Yeah, Ryan Kessler's on their team. Another loss in overtime. Holy crap. So that's four losses. Corey Schneider, four losses. All right, come on, guys. Big win, big win, big win. Please, we got to beat St. Louis. Big win. They're right behind us. Big win. Big win, big win. Nice, there we go. I just want to see where we're sitting really fast. 103 points. Wow, Detroit's almost caught us. All right, so if we want to stay strong, we're not going to win the Presidents, obviously. Toronto's 10 points ahead of us. Unless they completely bomb the last chunk of the season uh, we gotta beat Detroit that'd be nice Detroit's doing really well I don't, I don't even think they made the playoffs last year which is surprising but alright come on guys big game against Detroit here Gotta beat Detroit. Gotta beat Detroit. I'm almost wondering if I should just ride. Eddie Lacks had a good year so far. And backups aren't expected to play that many games. I'm almost wondering if I should just ride Schneider down into this stretch here. Ooh, loss. Um, let's check it out. How many games has Lack played? He's played 19 games. That's actually... Pretty decent for a backup goalie. Schneider played 82 games, I think, last year. Or, er, well, 79. Okay. You know what? I think I'm going to ride Schneider down the stretch. Just get him experience. Just work him right to the end of the season. Oh, there's only a couple games left anyways, so. How's our AHL team? 33, 26, and 9. Are they going to make the playoffs? Uh... Chicago Wolves. Where are they? I don't even see them. Uh, what the heck? Oh, it's C H A. Ooh, they might not make the playoffs. Palace is gonna have a lot of uh, experience though, so that's good. All right, so yeah, we'll just go with Schneider down the stretch here. There's only five, four games, four games left. Yeah. We made our goal for our owners, so they're happy. Um, hopefully we can finish strong though. Finish strong. I'd like to finish first in the West. That'd be awesome. Chicago, big win, guys. Come on. Oh my God. Come on, freaking Canucks. You guys are just slacking right now. Jeez, Louise. Hey. -yay. Hey, 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 another loss. Overtime loss. Jeez. Extra Liga. I think I might go back there. We'll see how they are. I wish I'd automatically just ordered it in the top, the from top to bottom. That'd be nice. Um, so the dub, we know Reinhardt's going to be good. How good is... He's a four-star. Um, yeah, maybe I'll go back to Extra Liga for six weeks. Oh, yeah, yeah. Last game of the year. Come on, guys. Let's get a freaking win. We're not doing very well down the stretch here. All right, there we go. Finally. So we got, we lost four of five in our last. Yikes. Where are we standing? Oh, Detroit passed us. Damn it. That sucks. Oh well, we're still we're still second place though. Yeah, no one's gonna catch us for second, so I'll take that. That's fine. Whatever, whatever. Huberto, thirty-two goals, nice. All right, who are we facing? I can't believe the HL league like goes so f so much farther than. Uh... Uh, okay. 
Okay. Did... Uh, who are we facing? I didn't even look. Didn't even look. St. Louis. Okay. Well done. I asked and earned 48 wins for the... Or expecting a bit more out of you next year, but I'm sure you'll deliver. Keep it up. Okay, cool. All right, so we're done. Season two. We're gonna take on the St. Louis Blues. Um, I don't think yeah, they might make it actually. Oh yeah, they're in the West, right? Yeah, they're sixth place. They should make the playoffs actually. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we'll do, yeah, we got time. We'll do a season wrap really fast. Player stats. We'll see how our team finished. And we'll look at the top in the league. Ba -ba -da -bum -ba -ba -dum. All right, so. Daniel Sedin, 90 points in 82 games. That's pretty solid. Henrik, point a game, 82 and 82. Huberto, 63 and 82. Uh, David Booth, 62 and 82. Sorry, 63. Did I say 62? Uh, Ryan Clough, 50 and 82. That's pretty good for a second line. Burroughs absolutely bombed it. David Booth was on the third line, though, wasn't he? I feel like he was. Gaunch, 42 and 82. That's pretty good. A point every two games. Alexander, 41. Ham Hughes, 35. BX at 26. Malhotra. Burroughs. Burroughs, what the hell are you doing? Or no, was Burroughs on the third line, actually? Sorry, wait a minute. Booth was on the second line. Wasn't he? Yeah, Booth was on the second line. Burroughs was on the third line. Okay, I can't be as mad at him. Whoops. I still expect a little bit better out of him. Raymond, 17 points. Murray, 15. Hansen, 13. Weiss, 11. Oland. It'd be, I think another thing they should add, maybe, um, would be... So you can actually look at your rookies and see how they're doing in their respective leagues. Uh, maybe not for Europeans. I think I think you could still do that, maybe. But like, it'd be cool, if, or even if it just said like Russian league, like or wherever they're from, Swedish league or whatever. But like, if it like say for McKinnon, it said like, um, cause he's from the QM, I think. Yeah, he's from the QM. So if it like showed his QM stats for the year, that'd be awesome. I think that'd be super cool. If they added that. Um, let's look at our goalies here. So that's that's something I think they could add in the future. It'd be pretty cool. So Schneider, 2.18 goals against. Not bad. Uh, 36, 19, 4. Um, I think that's better than last year. Oh, no, he had 42. He played a lot more games, though. Um, how did he do last year, though, actually? I want to see. His goals against average is better. Save percentage is better. Shutouts, he actually had more shutouts. Uh, I'd almost say this is a very close to a Vesna season, but you know I don't want to speculate right away. It's too too soon to speculate. Yeah, but I think overall he did pretty well. Gaunch did pretty good for a rookie. Um, so let's look at the uh, NHL. Wow, oh, Bouchard led the Jets. So Crosby had 103 points. Wow, uh, that's actually the first time I've seen Crosby like ahead in the league. Because he should be every year, right? Like, he's supposed to be the best player in the league. Uh, so Daniel Sedin finished second with 90 points. Ovechkin, 89. Wow, Crosby had 55 goals, too. Wow, geez. Um, yeah, Henrik finished eighth, which is pretty decent. Not bad. And then where did... Uh, I want to see how the... Yakupov had 66 points. Nice. I just want to see where... So Huberdeau finished 42nd overall. That's not bad, actually. I mean, he's pretty comparable to some of those guys. It would have been nice if he beat Yakupov. I feel like he should have. But So goals, Crosby at 55, obviously. Vechkin. Uh, we didn't really have anybody up there with goals. Um, Pims. Who had the most assists, actually? Backstrom and then Sedin. I think Daniel might win the Hart, Hart Trophy. It's very close, I, but I feel like Crosby probably will. McQuaid, top of the Pems again, plus minus. James Neal, Daniel up there with pin, or uh, plus minus two. Like him and Crosby should. I I think it'd be cool if they had it on an award show too. I mean they had it in like NHL like '94 or '95 or one of those early NHL games, and it would be like your top three finalists are, and then it would like show the top three finalists, and then it would like tell you the winner. I think that'd be super cool if they had like a an awards like NHL award show. 
even if it was like not like not too crazy like i don't want to be like like 3d like animations like you know like there's a host and stuff but it'd be cool if there's just like a guy standing up there like at a podium and it like be like your top three finalists are even if there's no voiceover i think that'd be cool um obviously they could do it with like one of the announcers like that they already have but um i don't even remember what i was looking at honestly uh okay so whatever we did that so points uh i want to see rookie scores rookie skaters oh that's not what i want points so gustav nyquist which is not very fair because he's he's freaking 86 overall he's 24 Yakupov should probably win the Calder, but I mean Nyquist probably will. Uh, Gonchfin is fifth, which is pretty decent. Max Reinhardt, 43 points. Richard Panic probably played with Stamkos all year. I mean Gonch played with uh, Booth and uh, Ryan Close, so and I feel like he should get a lot of experience. I mean he's four and a half stars, right? So should be decent. Goalies, um, Reimer had the most, wow, I think Reimer will probably, actually, yeah, Reimer will probably win the Vesna 87. Oh, he got up to an 87. Wow. How did he go, f he went from like an 82 to an 87. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he starts off as an 82. He's only four stars. How did he do last year? 32-22. So you're telling me Schneider, who got more wins, played more, and is a four and a half star, doesn't boost up past an 87, but Reimer, who's only a four-star, does. That's kind of a joke. That's yeah, that's kind of stupid. Um, yeah, I don't like that. That's kind of lame. That sucks. Uh, save percentage. Oops. Yeah, Schneider's not even up there for that stuff. He had the oh wow, Luongo had 12 shutouts. Oh my god. Okay, never mind. So of course Schneider did have a good year, but apparently a lot of goalies had great years. So. Eh, whatever. Whatever. Um, actually, yeah, let's look at the uh, play. I'm just going to look at the playoff tree really fast. Super quick. So here's the playoff tree, and then we'll finish it. So Detroit's taking on Ca Calgary. Uh, we're taking on St. Louis, San Jose, Dallas, Chicago, Nashville. In the East, Toronto, Buffalo, Washington, Carolina, New York Islanders, Pittsburgh, Florida, Montreal, the Winnipeg Jets, who, f who actually finished and won the Stanley Cup last year or didn't even make the playoffs this year, which is kind of weird. Oh, well. Um, yeah, all right. So we'll do the first round next time. Thanks for watching, guys.